good morning students welcome to online learning program of alchemy school students we are studying standard 8 science chapter 2 microorganisms friend and foe till now we have seen that microorganisms are very useful for us we have seen the different advantages of microorganisms now we will see that microorganisms are equally harmful for us they are our foe foe in the sense they are our enemies so students the germs or the microorganisms which enters in our body or they cause kind of disease these microorganisms are called pathogens pathogens are disease causing microorganisms so you can define it as the disease causing microorganisms are called pathogens now students these pathogens or these germs can enter into our body by different ways they can enter into our body by the contaminated drinking water they enter into our body by the food they enter into our body by the air when we breathe and they enter into our body by the physical contact with any infected person by shaking the hand by touching the things of the infected person so these are the ways by which germs and pathogens enter in our body so students there are two types of diseases communicable disease and non communicable disease now communicable disease is the disease which in which the disease can transfer from an infected person to a healthy person by means of air water food and the physical contact i am repeating once again the communicable disease are the diseases which can be transferred from an infected person to a healthy person by the means of air water food and with the physical contact these type of diseases are called communicable disease for example nowadays corona virus is causing the diseases and the respiratory problem which can cause death to the people it's an international problem and it is a communicable disease because from an infected person it can transfer to a healthy person easily by touching or sitting around that infected person through the air so that's why corona virus is causing a communicable disease from an infected person to a healthy person now non communicable diseases are the diseases which cannot be transferred from an unhealthy from an healthy person from an unhealthy person to a healthy person i am repeating once again non communicable diseases are the diseases which cannot be transferred from an infected person to a healthy person for example tumor cancer these are the diseases if you will sit with that person if you will eat food with that person then the cancer and tumor cannot be transferred from an infected person to a healthy person that's why it is called non communicable disease now students there are one more method of transferring disease from one body to another body for example they are called carriers carriers means the one who is responsible to carry from one place to another place for example house flies and mosquitoes house flies and mosquitoes are the two very important carrier in the world who are helping in transferring the disease from an infected person to a healthy person that means these diseases are not transferring directly from an infected person to a healthy person these diseases are carried by a person to another person with the help of some carriers in between like mosquito and house fly for if one person is suffering from malaria and that person is having the germs of malaria in the body and a mosquito will bite that person and the same mosquito will bite another person then the another person will also start suffering from malaria so the disease which was having in this person that is transferred in healthy person also with the help of the mosquito bite so here the mosquito is a carrier 
Same way, if a housefly is sitting in a dirty areas, then the body of the housefly will attract lot many germs from the dirty area and then this housefly will sit on your food, it will sit on your sweets, it will sit in your kitchen cooked foods and when you will eat the same food, the germs which are transferred by the housefly into the food, that particular disease or that particular germs and the bacteria will enter into your body and you will start suffering from some bacterial infections or health problems. So the main carriers are housefly and mosquito. Now there are some diseases in animals also, not only in humans. These germs are also causing the diseases in animals also. For example, a very important bacterial disease which is called anthrax is caused in humans also and it is caused in animals also and very important viral disease which is caused into the food and mouth of the animals. So students these microorganisms are very very harmful also for us because they are causing many health problems and the diseases to the humans also and to the animals also. So for today, only this much students, please make the notes of the given terminologies and the important statements and learn that. Thank you. Stay at home and stay safe.